Pankaj, just my imagination, just my imagination, Pankaj. Master, the kind and generous tag team, and my dear, dear fellow master, Toastmaster friends. Today I am going to talk to you about introductions. In various situations in our life, we are asked to introduce ourselves. Sometimes we are prudent, sometimes we go over the top. Sometimes the introduction leaves a lasting impression, sometimes it is utterly forgetted. Sometimes we manage to create good friends because of the introductions that we gave for ourselves. Today I will share with you three introductions that I had to give for myself and I'll leave it up to you to decide whether I was good or very good. So, the first instance was when I was sitting in a training room attending a training program on communication skills and the trainer suddenly pointed to me and said, you, introduce yourself in three words, only three words. I paused for a moment and I thought and I said, 33? male, single. <laughs> and then I looked around the room at the faces of the other men and I found that their expressions were a mixture of envy, jealousy, or maybe that was just my imagination. <laughs> the second instance was when I was attending a hotshot professional seminar and I walked up to a group of people in ties and suits and I said, uh, I, I would like to join the conversation. And they said, Introduce yourself in three sentences only. I paused for a moment, took a deep breath and said, I'm a chartered accountant, I'm company secretary, and I work for an American bank. Their expressions were a mixture of pity, sympathy, what a dull life they were thinking. Now I'll come to the third and the most interesting incident. And I was at this New Year party at the hottest nightclub in town and I was thoroughly enjoying myself, standing in one corner of the dance floor, watching other people dance. That's how I enjoy my own company, most of the time. And then, out of the blue, suddenly, the most beautiful young girl on the dance floor that night walked up to me and said, you can dance with me, if and only if you introduce yourself in exact hundred words. I took a deep breath, not for a moment, and this is what I said. Can someone come to this please? A for agnostically inclined. B for bird watcher. C for crossword enthusiast. D for Diwali hater. E for eco warrior. F for film fanatic. G for gym pilgrim. H for homebound. I for an eye dissuader. J for Jekyll and Hyde, K for Clock King, L for Luck Maker, M for Music Junkie, N for Neuro, Logical, <laughs> O for Oratoristically Challenged, P for Pen Pusher, Q for A Q Abider, R for Reader, Uninterrupted, S for Smiling assassin. <laughs> B for T total. U for under understood. B for Virgo, unfortunately. W for wrong writer. X for Excel architect. Y forever young. At the end of it, when I looked into her eyes again, I thought there was an expression which said that she would like to know me better, get to know more about me. Or maybe that was just my imagination. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being such a